Hey everyone, Jamie Laszlo here. Is my mic on? Yes, it's on. Um, for another episode of Record Roulette. And here's the thing with this show and why I keep doing it. Um, you know, there's a bazillion music channels out there on YouTube. Bazillion. And a lot of them, you got some guy or girl sitting in their bedroom, in their living room, in their office, in their bar. And they might be talking about their favorite metal albums. They might be ranking the albums of a certain artist. They might be telling you favorite albums of a certain year. But the bottom line is, on every show, they're just talking about their music collection. And they're talking about a certain album at any given time. That's the bottom line. How you get there is different. But the bottom line is you, you're just talking about the music. The only difference with this show is I have no idea what the fuck I'm going to talk about until my phone tells me <laughs> what I'm going to talk about. So there's no ranking. There's no discography talking uh, about the discography of a band. It's just my Discogs app randomly pulling up a, a record. And I find out when you find out <laughs> what I'm going to be talking about. So... Let's get started. So I got the uh, the old Discogs up. Sometimes it pulls pulls something up when I just barely shake it, and that never counts. So let me do it for real. Get the old thing going. Oh, I got I got my phone too bright. You can't see. I'll shake it. Oh, this is interesting because I think I listened to this one once. Um. Let me grab it. I think it's over here. I think I keep these guys in proto metal, even though they're not really proto metal. And where is my proto metal section? You know, I have a little proto metal section, but I always forget where it is. All right, here it is. I didn't know whether to keep these guys in hard rock, classic rock, or proto-metal. But I decided to put them in proto-metal. The hell with it. And that is Live Dates by Wishbone Ash. I don't know a lot about this band. Um, what's their most famous album? Like I said, I don't know. Ar Argus, right? Something like that. The one with Darth Vader on the damn cover. Um, that one's cool. This this is a cool band. I, do I, you know, I always knew of them. And then when I started watching Sea of Tranquility, Pete Bardo was way into them. And I said, maybe I should give these guys a fighting chance. And I uh, I bought their most famous album, what the hell is it called? Argus, right? Or something damn close to that. Let's grab it. Everyone's yelling at me. How can you not know? Well. Yeah, Argus. Two syllables, not Argus. Or Artichoke. It's Argus. Oh, Darth Vader. So yeah, this is a cool album, and I've listened to this a few times. And I, the the uh, twin guitar melodies, right? They got twin guitar melodies, don't they? See, this is what I always feared: a band comes up <laughs> that I should know more about, and I just don't. And then I stand here looking like a fucking idiot. But I remember playing this, and here's the thing with this band, though. They have a very soft guitar tone. Very soft. It's almost like a, a pillow. You could put your head on it. Mm, the guitar tone almost hums along. And I think sometimes I want a bit more. I just want a bit more than that soft, low guitar hum. And... It's not a deal breaker, but does it make me come back 
time and time again to hear more? No, I think I got this one. I think it might have been at a dollar fair. And that's why I picked it up. I'm like, double album from a band that's not bad? Shit. I'll grab it. Look, it's, it's not a scratch or scuff on it. So, yeah, what's this thing worth? Probably not worth a lot. I got it for a buck. Yeah, average six bucks. You can get one for two bucks right now on Discogs. I, you know, it says that until you click on it. And yeah, two ninety five, good plus, which means it's beat the shit. Then seven dollars for shipping. But you can get a decent copy if you wanted for on Discogs for seventeen dollars, shipping included. Ah, here's one for about fourteen bucks. It's fourteen bucks you can get one. Or if you have record stores by you, you can probably find it. Five bucks. So, yeah. Will I be listening to this because, you know, in the near future? Because now I'm curious about it. Eh, not in the near future. But I'll pull it out again someday. Yeah, I mean, where should I keep it? Just under rock? See, I keep it under proto metal strictly because of this album. Doesn't matter what <laughs> came out afterwards. I kind of feel like this is a pr proto metal album. And even though they may have strayed from that as they went along, did they stray away from that as they went along? I don't know. These are the only two albums I own. Uh, yeah, maybe I, I'll just keep them in proto metal because it's a thin section, anyways. I need to keep it beefed up. So, yeah, Wishbone Ash, a band I don't know that well, a band uh, where I've only listened to this album once, and maybe this one four times three times in my life this one i'm gonna play again soon though because i know it's you know a bona fide classic and i should probably like it a lot more than i'm remembering not that i hate it i remember it being solid but ask me how any of these songs go ask me one melody fuck i don't know there is twin guitars though right god i think so I'm pretty sure so anyways, there you go. Kind of an ignorant episode where I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. Yeah, of course you didn't, Laszlo. Anyone with a Nirvana shirt wouldn't know shit about Wishbone Ash. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so maybe next time I'll pull out something or Discogs will tell me to pull out something I know a little bit more about. So until then, guys. I guess you just go on with your life and I will go on with mine. I got a, I got a show with the contrarians tonight where we're going to talk about our favorite gatefolds. No, this one's not on my list, but oh, that's not a bad gatefold. Look at that shot. That's pretty cool. See, now I want to play it again. <laughs> that makes me want to play it right now. So anyways, guys, until next time, I will see you later.